this year's choral pilgrimage um, takes us back to our grassroots, really, the music of the 16th century and specifically English. Uh, so it's the music of John Shepherd, uh, Richard Davy, and uh, William Mundy. This program is really nice for me because actually it takes me back to my grassroots. Uh, I was a choral scholar at Magdalen College, Oxford, and and two of the composers in our pilgrimage program are from Magdalen College, Oxford. They have connections there. Um, Richard Davy was in formato choristarum there back in the late 15th century, and his piece, So Domine Celi Tereque, was written in a day at Magdalen, and that's some feat. And then, of course, there was the amazing composer John Shepherd, who was also in charge of the music there in the 16th century before he went to the Chapel Royal. So Richard Davy, we know, was at Magdalen College, Oxford in the early 1490s for a couple of years. His music is preserved now in the Eton Choir Book, which is a most beautiful big manuscript, the sort of choir book that was put on a lectern so that the singers gathered round to sing all of them from this one book. It's been so exciting to discover it and now to share that music with a much wider audience this year. I'm enormously looking forward to that. Shepherd's music for me has been one of the greatest discoveries. It's such individual music. It's so different from what anyone on the continent was writing at that time. William Mundy was a musician based in London. In our program, he's represented by two Latin pieces. One of them is a setting of verses from a psalm, and the other, Vox Patris Celestis, is a unique text compiled by William Forrest at the time and derived from the Song of Songs. The Song of Songs is an incredibly sensual text and, and Mundy delivers it in a, in a phenomenal way. It's a piece that lasts probably about 17 minutes and uh, I, I know the audience are going to be absolutely enthralled and, and the, the, the ending, the last few pages are so thrilling. Uh, it really is. It's a delight for us to be able to take it to so many venues up and down the country. It's a very interesting thing, you know, performing music in cathedrals and abbeys up and down the country. We, we're taking the music of our heritage back to these fantastic buildings. So for people to come and listen to us for the first time, this is, it's a great experience uh, because you're hearing music that fits the building like a glove. <laughs> 